We live in uncertain times. Truths that we once held to be self-evident are being overturned in an instant. As technology and tumult transform the world around us, forcing us to reevaluate what we thought we knew and hit the books to gain new knowledge and a sense of direction. From the lessons we need to learn, to the jobs we need to get ready for. Education has found itself at the centre of the debate. Considered ripe for a rewrite and overdue an overhaul. This is where Millfield comes in. An institution with pride in its past, but its eyes firmly fixed on the future. A place where the solutions to the greatest challenges of our time are waiting to be brought to life. Where the leaders of tomorrow are being shaped by teachers delivering best-in-class education. This is a place that encourages belief in what's possible. With stories of young people writing their own futures. This is a place that champions fearlessness, resilience and defying the status quo. That treats education as a force for positive change that the world needs. This is Millfield. I'm Matilda, it's my first year at senior school. I'm in year nine and I'm staying at Acacia. This morning I'm in the guest room for the brilliant breakfast. I'm in my first lesson of the day, which is art. Today we're drawing ice cream and we're working on using different tones with the white pencil and it's by far one of my favorite lessons. It's break currently, we have 15 minutes and we can go back to house and normally they have biscuits out that we can eat and we just end up talking most of the time. This is my room. I'm in geography at the moment and we're learning about Sherpas up in mountains. I've just finished period three and now I'm gonna head up to lunch. Class of the day English and we're just going over news reports from around the world. It's four o'clock, end of the school day. I'm just gonna get changed and go down to athletics. I've just finished athletics and I'm gonna head up to dinner now. We just had dinner and now we have a roll call and then prep, but afterwards we're gonna relax in here and watch a movie. What made you want to come to Millfield? Um, I think really just being part of the actual ethos of Millfield. You know, you see how good the facilities are around here. You know, the pool, athletics track, and the whole kind of Millfield environment is the best in the world. You know, I've had a chance to go to the Olympic Games and do, be successful. This is the place to do it, and that's what really brought my vision down here was to be part of that ethos. You know, I've joined the school in 2009, and ever since I've been here, you know, I was at the school for seven years. Um, you know, every single day being, going to school, you know, training full time, support from teachers I had all the time, just being able to balance that was really, really important. Um, whenever I was away, I had the help of, you know, having work away with me at school. Um, but the balance I had being at school and working really hard in the pool, it just worked for me. But all the staff here at Millfield really did help me massively. And without them, I wouldn't be where I am today, you know, world champion, Olympic medalist. So it is down to them at Millfield because that's where the dream began. Introducing Next Gen 15, the new home. 
Hello and welcome to Millfield School, the one of the most famous and prestigious rugby schools in the country. And we are here today for their game against Clifton College, one of the biggest, perhaps the biggest game of the entire season to date. Both unbeaten going into this one, both challenging for the Daily Mail Trophy and both with a rich history. And part of that rich history are my two commentators this afternoon alongside me, Tom Whiteley, the former Millfield star, and Harry Asho, the former Clifton College star, both now at Bristol Bears. And first of all, though, we're going to hear a message from the Millfield headmaster. Welcome to Millfields. I know it's going to be a fantastic game today. The Millfield team are certainly looking forward to it. I'm sorry I can't be with you. I'm in Dubai today, but I will be watching on the live stream. Both teams have had fantastic seasons so far, and the Millfield team, with its victory at St Joseph's, its victory over Wellington College, and most recently by the narrowest of margins uh, against Whitgift. And Clifton similarly have had a fantastic season. Uh, we always really enjoy this fixture, and it's really lovely that the two key teams come together so regularly and enjoy playing. Because that what ma that's what matters, isn't it? We've missed fixtures, we've missed the supporters, we've missed contact sport, and it's wonderful to see that happening again. It's not just about rugby at Millfield. Everyone is entitled to discover their brilliance here at Millfield, and you'll have seen in the recent Olympics from our representation and from our medal performance quite how good that has been. But it doesn't stop there, does it? It happens in every aspect of school life and in every one of the many sports that we do. You can discover your brilliance here at Millfield. I'll certainly be looking forward to see what the result is this afternoon and good luck to you. Well, fantastic to hear those words. And Millfield are out on the pitch going through their final routines. And Tom, I was having a little chat with you before the game started. This warm up hasn't changed much since your day, has it? Uh, no, exactly the same. Um, coaches don't actually come onto the pitch, um, which sometimes gets a bit confusing, but you've always got one guy leading it. Um, yeah, it's pretty much identical to seven years ago when I was here. Um, pretty much the exact same thing, yeah. And Harry, of course, you know a fair few of these boys having only left a couple of years ago. A few familiar faces out there. Are you looking forward to seeing them? Really looking forward to see the boys go. Three faces I've seen grow up at Clifton and now to get them here in the first team and doing a good performance throughout the season would be really good to see if they could put it on paper today and get the win against Millfield. And already a crowd building on the far side of the pitch here at Millfield School. We've seen a fair few of that crowd inside that wonderful building opposite us, including the legend that is Sir Gareth Edwards. And it's on hit this field that he has had named after him that we will be playing on. The Sir Gareth Edwards pitch, known to a few as the Jubilee. Moments away from kickoff, Millfield have won all of their games, including a couple of absolute crackers. And here we go with their team, led by the skipper, Eric Nixon, cousin of the former Millfield star, Sam. Alongside him in the front row, Max Pierce and Yona Emanuel. In the second row, Eddie Erskine and George Jones. And in the back row, George Timmins, Archie McKibben, and Max Jenkins in the back line. And there are going to be some fantastic matchups here. Sam Kerwin and Sam Harris at halfback. And in the centres, Tommy Davis and Kahan Ertuk. It's Komoto Kamanga Durback on the left wing with Aaron Molnar on the right wing and Joe Denmark at fullback. And we've got a couple of experts in that field here. Replacements, Ellis Baker, Harry Carson and Amir Sultan Edwards. Look out for him when he comes on. Head coach, John Mallett, the former Bath and England prop. For Clifton College, well, they're led by Aaron Tull in the second row alongside Joe Wooler, Louis Trevitt, George Davey and Shea Sainsbury up front. 
And then in the back row, Tomoya Nadachi, Colleen Balassingham, KB as he's better known, and Tom Gardner at number eight. At halfback, Pete Carter and Sam Worsley. Worsley's battle with Harris at halfback is going to be exciting. And then in the centres, Isaac Campbell Wu and Sam Homer. Back three, Eamon Rogers, Leo Quigley, and Sammy Hamid. Replacement, Llewellyn Evans. Unfortunately, Gruff Lloyd, a late dropout from this one, and a real shame to see him go, the younger brother of Yoan and Jack Lloyd. Head coach for Clifton College, Matt Salter, and we are just about ready to go here as Millfield and Sam Harris kick into the Clifton 22. For, uh, for Griff's sake, it's Griff, not Gruff. Yo would be happy with me for saying that. I do apologise. Yo, and if you're watching, do tell your brother. That was my mistake. Harris then, on the counter. Ball straight out though. So we'll come back for the line out on the 10 metre line. And that's a good start for Clifton College. Uh, Millfield playing into a tough win there. Um, might be worth keeping the ball in hand for as much as possible. But, um, shame to keep that ball away on a counter attack. Well, certainly, Tom. I mean, it's true. True in your time here, and, and true nowadays, Millfield definitely like to uh, to play the ball from anywhere, don't they? Yeah, pretty much. I can't remember ever, there ever actually being an exit plan when I was here, but um, I hope to see a lot of lot of uh, ball and play today. The exit plan, I think, was just to score a try. Let's just go for it, boys, was, was always the message I thought I had. And Clifton College, I think, these days playing a pretty similar style when they get the opportunity to as well. Clifton, by the way, like Millfield, with the late, late winner against Wellington College. Sam Worsley, drop goal, got them that win. And it was an Amir Sultan Edwards try that got Millfield the late win over Wellington College. So that just tells you a bit about the quality of these two sides. Penalty then to Clifton College. They have the chance to draw first blood. Interesting to see they've gone for the post with this win, but hopefully Sam Worsley, he's got a bottle. He'll get it through the post. Well, Worsley, of course, the England under 18 fly half. He made his debut for England under 18 here at Millfield School, actually, against Italy back in the summer. Worsley, the man who scored that drop goal against Wellington College, kicked six from six that day, 100% from the tee. Can he make a similar start here at Millfield? Erskine, the big lumbering frame, trying to put as much between him and the ball as possible. No matter for Worsley though, as he slots the points and Clifton College have a 3-0 lead and Harry, a perfect start for Clifton. Starts quickly to mention the referee, Tom Falkingham, Gloucester and District Society. He's been uh, working in refereeing for six years. Big game here for the Gloucestershire referee. Taking control early on and awarding that penalty as Harris hangs the restart high. Claimed by Erskine. Something Millfield down the years have been very good at is their restart routine. Saw evidence of that in some of their great seven sides down the years. John Radford, a particular exponent of that particular skill. Don't play him. Some good hits there from Clifton. Tom Gardner, man to watch out for. He can hit, hit hard, I've heard. Millfield through Pierce. You still got penalty advantage. Wants to play over in the USA. Ball spilled, but that gives Joe Denmark a chance to counter. We'll come back for the penalty. Now, Tom. Two in this blue, biting wind, line. blowing straight into the faces, would you be going for sticks or would you be looking for a different play? Well, they're, they're going for sticks. Um, uh, like, like Harry said, it's a tough wind. Um, I actually haven't seen this, this 10 kick before, but I'm sure we'd be all right. I'd have potentially look at, looked at a scrum, centre field, 22, hard place to defend. Um, right. Yeah, I, I'm not the one playing, so uh, fair play to him taking, taking the shot. Well, we saw Sam Harris. Warming up. Uh, <coughs> oh, do excuse me. Uh, a leaf blowing into my mouth there. Um, no, we saw Sam Harris earlier on warming up with his kicking routine, and uh, 
He was striking them well, but he was striking them with the wind behind him. This time, kicking into the wind. Harris, of course, an expert kicker, another England under 18 fly half. As we said, that battle between the two of them is going to be fantastic. And it was Harris last week that kicked the touchline conversion to give Millfield the win against Whitgift. And it's Harris that lands the penalty to draw them level with Clifton College. Less than five minutes gone, three points each. It's important now for Millfield to exit well, because you don't want, once you get back tied, you don't want to just let Clifton back in the game easily with a line out or a scrum play, possibly get a trial, three points. Absolutely. Tackle two blue though. Millfield though, as we know, outside, like to play. Outside. Heeding Harry's oh. advice though. You know what? And going long. It's a good kick, a real good kick against that wind. Clifton looked to counter through Sammy Hamid, sporting a lovely moustache from November. Attempted kick through from Campbell Wu. Charged down to Millfield into the 22. Chance to make a real play here. Ball goes wide to Denmark and now it's in Harris's hand. Harris stabs it through the space in behind into the 22. Covered well by Pete Carter. Some great footwork from Pete Ed. Oh, just spilled the ball. Well, Carter did well to tidy up, showing great footwork, as you say. But just spilling it in contact, and Millfield will have an attacking scrum with the whole left-hand side of the field to play with. The really smart kick there by Sam Harris. Playing to the swing, it's not always about running, like I said at the start. These small attacking kicks are going to be hard to defend, as we've just seen there. So I think it's a really smart play, and I think more, we'll see more of that um, in the game. It's a great attacking point now for Millfield, the scrum near the edge. Crouch! Bye! Winger and number 11. Set, hold. Oh, looking forward to see running the ball in Kamoto. Yeah, Tom is a, is a scrum half. Presumably your eyes are lighting up from a, for a position like this. Yeah, definitely. You've got to, it's, it's all on the wheel. They, they've gone. That's a great play. Harris charges through. Reaches for the line and Harris. Great try. From the scrum. Dances across the line. He was released by his inside centre, Tommy Davis. And Sam Harris, having landed the penalty, crosses the line. As we see here, Millfield get the ball moving forward, putting the defence on the back foot. And well, Tom. It's a great engage by the Millfield 12 there, as well with the 13's hard line, blocking off the Clifton defence, which allows Sam Harris to run through and score. And once that red sea had parted, there was no stopping him, was there? <laughs> That's a real smart start from uh, Sam Harris. He's been brilliant so far. Um, hopefully, he can keep up the keep up that good work. Got them into that position with that smart kick earlier on, and then um, as the Milford crowd goes crazy over there, um, that's nice to see. That it's nice. The the drum is out. The noise is picking up, and Sam Harris adds the extras. Milford lead 10-3. All 10 points coming from Sam Harris. The Bath and England under 18 fly half. What a start he's had. Millfield, of course, coming into this with huge form behind them. We talked about the unbeaten record and the victory last week over Whitgift. But of course, Millfield, I'm sure many of you would have caught it on our stream, winning the St. Joseph's Festival for the first time actually since Tom Whiteley alongside me was part of the winning team back in 2014, I think it was. This triumph giving them the record seven St. Joseph's Festival titles as Worsley looks to counter for Clifton College and makes a dart through. Milfield compete for the ball, but Clifton College secure it. Campbell Wu spreads it wide to the new man in the seven shirt, KB. Clifton happy to carry short, but Nixon Thunderous hit. Don't play him now, leave him. Some good defence here you. from Millfield. Wouldn't be surprised if we put boot to ball now. Just try to play territory. Clifton lining up quite flat, I think, Harry. Yeah. That's no, it, it's good to see they're going through the phases, yeah, but when, two, when you get knocked back like this, you just don't want to risk receiving the penalty oh. and then getting pinged back into your own corner. Would you would you be expecting, you know, having having played in the backfield, would you be expecting a man from the backfield to be calling about where the space is 
on a night like this or an afternoon like this or are you are you looking for that really to come from Worsley? I think it's more going to come from Worsley Hill. Maybe maybe his inside centre, um, Isaac Campbell Wood, but it as well the scrum half, Pete Carter could be getting a box kick in because with this wind as well, it's going to be really hard to take those high balls and fall back in the wing. It is a very, very windy day, blowing straight down the pitch from left to right as you look at the screen. Millfield, of course, on the right-hand side of the pitch in their green, red and blue hoops. Clifton on the left-hand side with the white and blue hoops. And I'll explain to you a bit about the Millfield socks later on in this game. Great story behind those. As it stands, though, Millfield are on the front foot again. Max yeah. Jenkins carrying hard. Harris now stabs it through. Komodo Durbach smart kick. chasing after it. Harris's kick evades the chase, but rolls into a dangerous touch. Five metres from the line. Yeah, we've spoken about that already, about his, uh, his attacking and kicking game, and it's another one. Not so much looking for to, to get the ball back there, but to put Clifton down in this corner. So um, it's going to be tough to get out from this corner now. Yeah, Harris really controlling this game well in challenging conditions. Clifton College pressure on the line out here. Got to get the throw right, got to get the lift right. They look to the middle. Millfield poach it though. Across came George Davy. They call in the meatball. Has to be lower, okay? I don't think there's anything there. He's just fallen down. He's got quite unlucky. Yeah, just done for the high tackle, but as you say, just a technical offence, really. And we'll, uh, the long shot of it is, though, Millfield now have the five-metre line out and the chance to show us what they can do from this set piece. We saw what they can do from a scrum Blue, earlier on. Step up. Blue, step up. Wait. Now for the line out. Guys, I'm standing here. It's not... Because they need to step off, and so do you. The line's the middle. Let's get it right, fellas. <laughs> No, you're off. The line's the middle, OK? I did say it once. Max Pierce then to throw the ball in. Millfield slowly approached the line up. Taken down oh, safely oh, by Archie backwards. McKibben. Ball taken right down. Some good more defence there from Clifton. Kerwin feeds his forward short. Five metres out. Off feet, Blue. Millfield on the front foot early on here. Now Nixon. Strong carry from the captain. And through for a second try. McKibben on the short line on the blind side. And like Harris before him, the waters parted and the flanker took advantage to score Millfield's second try. As we see here, the call comes up to Kerwin. Gives it to his skipper. And you can see the blind side starts to form. McKibben gets on, gets on the outside there of the defence, doesn't he? It's a good bit of footwork just to get outside of that sort of trio of defenders and get on the outside shoulder. Yeah, it's nice to see that. It's, it's very easy in 22 to go around the corner the same way, but um, nine there, saw, saw it on the blind side, tip McKibben. On a good line, some good footwork. It's nice to see that. And as a nine there, are you, are you just listening for the calls around you and, and reacting to what you hear? You are, yeah, but you're also looking as well. You've got to look yourself. And um, I think that's what he did really well there. Um, was, like I said, it's very easy to keep going around the same corner, uh, around the same way in the 22 to kick sails wide. But um, yeah, so it was a good play there by Millfield. Good, good defence by Clifton at the start off the, off the, off the mall. But, uh, Milford got into a shape well off the, off the back of it. Harris's conversion, as you say, just drifts wide. But either way, Milfield going at about a point a minute at the moment. 15-3 up, 14 minutes gone. Brilliant start from the hosts. And with the wind in their face, they'll feel Inside. that lead counts for even more than it does at the moment. As Harris looks long to clear his lines, almost up to halfway. Stays in field, though. It's really important now, Clifton try to get the next points on the board just to stop this momentum from Millfield and get them back in the game. Are you surprised that uh, Clifton aren't looking to sort of play the play the corners and the percentages a bit more? Seem to be looking to get it through the hands as much as possible, and perhaps the space is in that backfield with a win like this. 
Mm, as well, the new 50-22 rule, I thought Worsley and Carter would be pinning those quarters, corners, trying to get those lineups. But Clifton trying try to play short, but the counter rucking from Millfield at the moment is causing all sorts of problems. Incredibly physical defence. Erskine leading the charge in the second row. That big frame of his, and now it's a huge hit in the midfield again from Blytide. George Timmins, a lower sixth. One of the few lower sixth in this Millfield side. Some really good defence here from Millfield. Big, big double hits, just slowing that ball down. Millfield is hold, hold, hold. pretty much through five or six phases now. Not allowed Clifton to make any real ground whatsoever. They do now look to the boot. And it's a strong no, kick. 50, it's a great kick. Fantastic kick from exactly Cameron Wood. Right Quite unlucky back. just to miss Fair out on the 50-22 there. As you were saying though, Harry, that's exactly what we've been looking for. And sadly, Milfield Clifton leaves one of their men back into their heart. to an early knock. Brings in the substitute, Llewellyn Evans. A good Welsh lad. Guys, the line's yours. He's actually he got the, the sheet wrong. This is Josh Shriver, I think. Not in the back driver who uh, came in late for uh, for Griff Lloyd. Sadly, had to pull out at the last minute due to illness. Millfield spill the ball on their own try line. It's going this way and that. Clifton regather. Tackle release. It's exactly what Clifton needed now. You just need to stay composed, go through the phases, not rush it too much, and hopefully come out with a try. Clifton, five metres from the line. Searching for their first try of this game. They took the lead through the boot of Sam Worsley, but since then, it's all been Millfield. It's Clifton's first true attacking opportunity. They think they're over, not quite. They look now wide. Campbell Wu, could he have passed it? Didn't need to. Campbell Wu crosses the line. It was him that started it with the kick across for the line out, and it's Campbell Wu that finishes with the powerful drive to the try line. So well worked try there from Clifton. It's quite lucky Campbell Wu did get over because I feel like there was quite a big overlap out the back with the the pullback. But it's well deserved considering he did that great Thank kick you. earlier on. Yeah, a lovely score from Campbell Wu. Making good use of that squat frame of his to charge over the line. Campbell Wu, who's promised a big game today. He's been missing for a while through a hamstring injury. This is his first game back. And what a way to mark your first game back. The Bristol under 18 inside centre. As the wind feels as though it's picked up even further now. Clifton College, of course, with uh, former England second row World Cup winner Danny Grucock on the touchline, part of their coaching setup alongside Matt Salter. So we can expect good things from the line out from Clifton. One would imagine we can expect good things from a Kibben. Scored a try and now he's making a huge tackle to put Clifton under pressure straight from the restart. Tackle, no three! Already this game living up to the hype. Three tries inside of the opening 20 minutes. Neither side willing to give an inch on this unbeaten record. And now with a high hanging kick, Denmark and Harris leave it to each other, but now Harris Looks to return the kick and does so with interest. 50-22. Has he made it? Just about, I think. Extraordinary kick from Harris. It's a great kick turning around because Pete Carter managed to exit well with that win and get the ball to land, which was really positive. And then almost coming on the back foot, he's just whacked that right in the corner. Some debate as to whether it is a 50-22 or not. The referee. Well, it seems that the lineouts inside the 22 but it's not a 50 22 so i'm a bit confused <laughs> it is a millfield it is a millfield touch judge though so oh yeah i'm thinking the millfield touch judge i think, I think john mallet's getting involved now oh now it's been put outside the 22. Oh, yeah. 
Take it quick, boys, take it quick. Some debate as to what exactly is going on. The net result is Clifton put the ball in, gather it nicely and clear their lines. Denmark will look to counter. Quick feet from Denmark, gets himself on the front foot. Millfield, intricate handling. Ball spills though, but Denmark tidies up. Kerwin feeds Harris, who sends the ball aerial again, and it is swirling in this wind now. A nightmare in the backfield. Oh, Worsley goes for the George Ford star spiral, and a there possible 50 22 oh, what a inside kick. of his own 22. What a kick from Sam Worsley, and from being under pressure in their own 22. Clifton College now with the attacking line out, barely six or seven metres out. Seeing a really impressive, uh, really impressive kicking from both teams here. Both tens kicking incredibly well in the winds. That's, that's an unbelievable spiral for a 50-20. It's probably the biggest 50-20 I've seen, actually. That's, that's incredible. Um. The advantage of the spiral kick. That extra yardage you can gain from it. Clifton, backwards. spill it in the line out. It went backwards off the top and then you're playing not There's two, two stories with this wind because you get those 50-22s but it's also a real hard for the, the line out to function Scrum. as Clifton are finding out in these first few minutes. Yeah, the territory gain ends up being more important than the possession gain ultimately when it's this difficult to control. Still in a good spot. Milford still have to exit again with this win, so Clifton should still stay positive here and just try and get maybe some more points on the board just before half time. Crouch! Bind! You need your head in before we even start. You can't swing shot it back in. You have to have your head in. Bit of a delay as we set the scrum up. Gives us a bit of a chance to talk about one of our partners, the University of Bristol. Just down the road from here, actually, not far from you two boys, University of Bristol. I'm sure you've come across a few of the students in your time there. Set, hold. Not me. Bristol University playing in the uh, Bucks Premiership in the South, topping that table at the moment. One of the top rugby and academic institutions in the country. As Sam Harris gets charged down at the 22. Oh, we go. Woo. Almost claims it, through instead. Joe Willow. Goes his open said flanker. Side entry. Side entry as he's brought to four, and Millfield live on to fight another day. Eleven side entry. Need to come through the gates, clear out, fellas. So line out right in front of that drum and the Millfield crowd. The young lads released early from games this afternoon to come and watch this massive schools rugby fixture. Millfield go to the tail. McKibben brings it down safely. Joe man has fallen to floor. That's out. It's a difficult ball though. Well dealt with in the end by Pierce. Oh, intercept. intercept. Millfield too well to turn it over and it's the skipper Nixon. First man, hold it. Gets over the ball with a bit of captain's work there. Millfield under threat but Nixon steps up with the big play. Millfield are doing really well here once they made a mistake just to get that penalty back and then release all that pressure. Well we see here Good anticipation from Clifton to get the turnover, to get the intercept in. Clever that from Nixon. The hand on the shirt to pull the player to him as he goes in unspotted by the referee. Those are kind of dark arts that people are talking about Same when more. they talk about the dark arts. It's those small little details that make How the you difference. Going now? Can't change. No, don't go in there, don't go in there. That's once. There you go. That's fine. He was fine. Tackle. Millfield. 
working the blind side. Now they come over, Nixon. Off nicely. Oh, good tackle there. Colleague. Is he off his feet? Oh. Unfortunately for Clifton College, they look like they've got over the ball, but the ruck was already formed. They were off their feet in doing so. And Harris has the ball in hand. A decision to make about what to do. This time he looks to the corner. And Tom, do we think this is a sign that Millfield sense they've got the upper hand perhaps in a in the line out and they fancy having a having a go here. Earlier on we saw them take the points, this time going for the corner. Yeah, I think that would have been uh, Captain Nixon's call to go to the corner there because uh, his four pack have just demolished the Clifton one about 15, 20 metre drive all there. So if they can get it set up again, hopefully um, they can get over in the corner. Eh? Short line out, just four men in it. McKim in the jumper and the try scorer, uh, try scorer earlier on. But it's taken forward That's as the ball killer. came down. M15, it wasn't out of the line of touch. So Clifton will have the scrum 15 metres in, just about six or seven metres out. Still under big pressure here, though. Although, having seen the distance that Worsley can get on his kicks, perhaps Clifton won't be too worried about that. Clifton have got lucky there, because with that line-up before, it was, wasn't looking promising, but they need to exit well here. Just with a big strong scrum, but hopefully, as you said, Worsley will put people. ball. I think Worsley will be eyeing up this 50 22 again because Millfield's fullback stood in the middle of the pitch, winger high. If they can get the ball out. Got to win this scrum first, though. Or relies on the scrum happening, of course. One of many people's bugbears. And while this scrum goes on, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, an old Cliftonian people living out in Austria these days. Who uh, sent a message into the team saying how much he was looking forward to tuning in to this game. So a big hello to you. Captain at Clifton College in 1954, 86 years of age, tuning in on the live stream. Who said that this sort of tech was for the youngsters, eh? As Clifton earn a penalty at the scrum. On the line, on Referee calls it on the far side as this biting wind swirls around. It's blowing left to right now, having been straight down the pitch, and that gives Millfield the chance to keep it in field, which they have done. First knock on wasn't spotted, but a second one ends up with a, a net result of being about fair. a bit of a, that's a lack of focus line, there, thinking about the next job rather than the job at hand. So that pass sort of drifted towards the floor. Clifton with the line out, they've, as we've said, had a couple of struggles early on. But they forced Millfield into the air at the last one. And this time they bring it down safely to the skipper. And now Worsley can unleash his back line. And a big, big carry tackle, through the middle. Getting Clifton on the front foot. Can't release the tackle, he can't go straight away. Worsley getting it through his hands more often now. Campbell Wu now operating a bit like a Kiwi second 5 8 at the moment. Now Worsley in the pocket. Looks deep, there is space out wide, and the chasing up ball bouncing and swirling. Dealt with nicely in the end by Millfield. And the support gets there well. Dangerous situation, but tidied up at that breakdown. Spilled though from the counter. Some great game management there from Worsley, realising we weren't really getting on the front foot there and just put it in behind. And then, as you can see, Milford have ended up coughing the ball up and now attacking scrum with Lifter. and the penalty at the last scrum. And they go again at this one. Ball's out. Ball wheels, but referee says it's playable and Clifton on the front foot. Millfield backpedalling. Tackler was held though. Didn't release the ball. 
least the boy was tackled on the floor. Millfield live to fight another day after a dangerous attacking situation from Clifton College. Clifton College, a real rising force in schools rugby. Last couple of years, their tie-in with Bristol Bears has become ever more strong. Harry, one that can certainly really attest to that here. Floor, and Clifton College rugby's really started to grow of late, hasn't it? No, it has, definitely. When I first joined Clifton, well, seven years ago now, off, the circuit was completely different. You would never have seen us even playing Millfield, let alone competing against them. And that's all down some real hard work from Matt Salter and then the adding of Danny Grucock with the, the rugby just going up and up and up and standard with much more depth throughout all the years. As Harry says, as uh, Millfield looked to attack off this line out. Tackle six, These two didn't really play each other all that often in previous years. In 2018, the fixture got picked back up again. Millfield winning that year, 15-12. But in 2019, Clifton College had a brilliant win, a 29-0 effort. Then, of course, the pandemic struck. But they did manage to get a meeting back in May. Not too many of the players on show today got to play in that one. It was largely an upper sixth affair for the Leavers. But Millfield won that one, 32-26. So the recent history should give Millfield a bit of a feeling of confidence in this one. But Clifton College rugby certainly on the up. And they're one of the oldest rugby schools out there. In fact, just a week ago, they were playing the Governor's Cup against Marlborough College. The oldest school fixture in the country. Been played since 1864. Older than most unions in their entirety, that game of rugby. And it just shows you how special schoolboy rugby is. A real connect with the past, with past pupils and with past games. And we heard that from Gareth Edwards earlier on today in a clip you'll be seeing later on in the week. Speaking so fondly of his time here at Millfield School and his thrill at having the pitch named after him and returning a few years later to play a game of football on it, of all things. The great Welsh wizard telling us he was a bit of a goal scorer back in the day. Who knew? Here on the Sir Gareth Edwards pitch, though. Millfield lead 15-10 over Clifton College. Three or four minutes to go until half-time. Clifton College with a scrum on their own 22. Keep it square. Campbell Wu on the crash, big carry. Harris takes him down in, in tandem with Davis. Carry and now back. Worsley looks to exit. Bouncing kick, Komodo Durback chases back and the ball just will not sit for him. But now he has a chance to counter. And as we saw at the St. Joseph's Festival, counter he can. Well shackled though this time. Carry back. Harris though, looks deep, sends it high and hanging towards this left-hand touchline. It's a difficult one to take for Carter. And eventually it rolls into touch. That wind causing absolute havoc under the high ball. Real tough conditions here for the for catching high balls. Um, another good kick though from, uh, from Sam there. Um, really, really playing, playing the conditions really well there. Very impressive by, by the young 10. Millfield then to McKibben again. He seems to be the big line-out option for them. That's what, that's Surging that's forward, that's inch by inch here at Millfield. Now they release it. No hands blue, two. McKibben again, seeing a lot of action is the young open side. Tackle. Front row now operating in the heart of the midfield. Harris. Trying to release that back line. They come back again. Erskine takes it in. What a presence Erskine is on this field. Really, really big turn over there from, I think it's Isaac Campbell Wu again. Just releasing that pressure and now hopefully. It is Campbell Wu. What a start he's having to this game. We said earlier that it was his return from injury and he wanted to have a big game. It certainly is now as the wind just about knocks me off my feet. 
chaos reigns outside. No surprise he's missed touch there with that win. Off the left foot. Harris sends it high and hanging. Straight into touch though. The wind has picked up massively and the referee calls time. Giving everyone a chance to catch some shelter. Half time here at Millfield School. Well, that's flown by. It's Millfield 15, Clifton College 10. A brilliant start from Millfield. Gave them the early lead. After Worsley and put Clifton College in front 3 0. Millfield with two tries. But Clifton College have fought their way back into this one. And at the break, it's Millfield 15, Clifton College 10. Where do you want to come to Millfield? Um, I think really just being part of the actual ethos of Millfield. You know, you see how good the facilities are around here. You know, the pool, athletics track, and the whole kind of Millfield environment is the best in the world. You know, I've had a chance to go to the Olympic Games and do, be successful. This is the place to do it, and that's what really brought my vision down here was to be part of that ethos. You know, I've joined the school in 2009, and ever since I've been here, you know, I was at the school for seven years. Um, you know, every single day being going to school, you know, training full time support from teachers I had all the time, just being able to balance that was really, really important. Um, whenever I was away, I had the help of, you know, having work away with me at school. Um, but the balance I had being at school and working really hard in the pool, it just worked for me. But all the staff here at Millfield really did help me massively. And without them, I wouldn't be where I am today, you know, world champion, Olympic medalist. So it is down to them at Millfield because that's where the dream began. Introducing Next Gen 15, the new home, School Up. Well, where does this come from? Everything the school game has to offer in both the North and Southern Hemispheres. Oh, oh, it's not good enough. One, two, skip a few and with the wheels. Highlighting tomorrow's stars, Next Gen 15 will be bringing you live games and regular updates of all the news and in-depth views on the global game. What a kick. Well, all your school rugby, all in one place. This is Next Gen 50. Hi, I'm Matilda. 
It's my first year at senior school. I'm in year nine and I'm staying at Acacia. This morning I'm in the guest room for the brilliant breakfast. I'm in my first lesson of the day, which is art. Today we're drawing ice cream and we're working on using different tones for the white pencil and it's by far one of my favourite lessons. It's break currently, we have 15 minutes and we can go back to house and normally they have biscuits out that we can eat and we just end up talking most of the time. This is my room. I'm in geography at the moment and we're learning about Sherpas up in mountains. I've just finished period three and I'm gonna head up to lunch. Class of the day English and we're just going over news reports from around the world. It's four o'clock, end of the school day. I'm just gonna get changed and go down to athletics. I just finished athletics and I'm gonna head up to dinner now. We just had dinner and now we have a roll call and then prep, but afterwards we're gonna relax in here and watch a movie. We live in We live in uncertain times. Truths that we once held to be self-evident are being overturned in an instant. As technology and tumult transform the world around us, forcing us to reevaluate what we thought we knew and hit the books to gain new knowledge and a sense of direction. From the lessons we need to learn, to the jobs we need to get ready for. Education has found itself at the centre of the debate. Considered right for a rewrite and overdue an overhaul. This is where Millfield comes in. An institution with pride in its past, but its eyes firmly fixed on the future. A place where the solutions to the greatest challenges of our time are waiting to be brought to life. Where the leaders of tomorrow are being shaped by teachers delivering best-in-class education. This is a place that encourages belief in what's possible. With stories of young people writing their own futures. This is a place that champions fearlessness, resilience, and defying the status quo. That treats education as a force for positive change that the world needs. This is Millfield. And welcome back to Millfield School for the second half. Millfield 15, Clifton 10. They went in at the break and from the kickoff. We'll have a Millfield line out with Max Pierce to throw in. Had a strong first half, lots of good carrying from Pierce. Into this strong wind, it's a tough place to be as a hooker. As we see, Take a step. Clifton get the Red. ball back. Shea Sainsbury. It's a knock on in the line out, fellas. Scrub. He's making the pass at nine, but we'll come back for the knock on in the line out. And it is such a challenge in these conditions at the line out. Ball blowing everywhere. The whole mechanism. Difficult. Eight sets in. Coach! Good start from Clifton here in the second half. Um, good Set kick off and then oh, steal at the line up. Good scrum position now. Milford seems to go. Carter under real Down. pressure. So Carlton's done well though. Yeah, just slipped up. Pete's got a bit lucky there. I think he could have given no, that ball no, earlier, but now see if he can get it in the corner and hopefully win this line up. Wesley. 
gets the ball into the 22. I was standing still as well. <laughs> George Davy to throw in. Yes. Calls it to the middle. Safely gathered. Breakaway. Clifton College with the driving more. Millfield tried not to engage, but they have engaged now. That was a tactic we saw work so well at the St. Joseph's Festival, but Clifton College wise to it on this occasion. The coaching of Danny Groove got no doubt helping with the star line out now. Been stolen by Milford there. It's a real good defence. Harris shapes the kick along and does get it almost up to the halfway line. This biting wind in behind him. Fearsome conditions. Another great kick there from Sam. Uh, under a lot of pressure, gets them all the way up to near the halfway. Lose the pressure big time there. Well, lads, I'm going to ask you a forwards question here. I know I've got two experts in the field alongside me. That tactic of not engaging at the mall can prove so effective, leaves a lot of teams, even at the top end, at a bit of a loss as to what to do sometimes. Yeah, I wouldn't say we both know much about malls, but as a back, I always used to like it when our forwards would do that because we normally even get turnovers and malls aren't really what I play rugby for. Well, also, I like to think that... Yeah, if forwards get a bit of a raw deal, people think they're not the smartest, but when they do stuff like that, you go, oh, there's a brain cell or two in there. <laughs> no, it was real smart there from Clifton. They must have spoken about it before when they're doing their review of Milford and obviously, as you said, the St. Joseph Festival, they've done it, which I'm sure most of the boys would have been watching. You still Clifton playing around the fringes. And as Carter went for a dart around the outside, he was just caught high. High tackle. A difficult one there for Timmins. The high tackle, as as the scrum half, the smallest man Seven. on the pitch, was falling down as well. It's uh, it's sometimes difficult to get those arms down. Tom, I'd imagine as a as a smaller man yourself, you quite enjoy the high tackle laws. Yeah, you do go looking for them when, when you need a penalty. Uh, if you run across sideways across the pitch, someone's going to high tackle you at some point. So it does get you a few penalties. Look, looking out for a second row that's blowing a bit. Yeah, pretty much. Exactly what uh, Sam does here. Dangerous game to play when it goes wrong. <laughs> Very dangerous game. <laughs> when you get when you sure off the pitch straight off. Yeah. Early, right? From the penalty there, Clifton nine, with the line out in the 22. Go to the middle again, but this time it goes long. And Timmins Carry makes up for that penalty by gathering the loose ball hold, 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 and allowing hold. Harris the opportunity to kick long into the Clifton 22. Forcing them to let to clear their lines, and they do to Denmark. Can he counter? Ops to hang the ball high. Back into the hands of Rogers, who gets it to Worsley, and we know what he can do with the boot. It's a great and kick with that almost, With another 50 22. Not quite this time. But Worsley, well, not to hammer home the point, but his kicking game has been outstanding so far, hasn't it? Yeah, I think both tens have been, been outstanding today. That's another great kick by Sam Worsley there. And um, just sees the space straight away. And with the pitch here, it sort of slides off to the uh, slides off to the edges here. Um, it's always going to roll out to touch there. The kick just about secures the line out. And Tom, as this line out comes down, just a thought on the pitch. I mean, obviously may have changed a bit since your time, but you played on it. It seems as though it is a very zippy surface when the ball lands on it really skips away. Yeah, the, the, the surface here is better than most Premiership teams, so um, the, the, the groundskeepers here do an incredible job, and it's always it's like this all year round. There's, there's never really a bad time for this pitch, so um, yeah, it's the, the pitch here is incredible, as we see probably another kick coming from, from Sam Harris here. Sitting in the pocket deep now. We're going to go for this 50-22 if it's on. Advantage offside. One and two. Penalty advantage, Millfield. Clifton offside. We'll come back for it. Clifton, good work at that breakdown. Came forward and never went back. And to echo Tom point, Tom's point about this pitch. One and three. In conversation with the ground staff, it is under lock and key. There are people that have 
done five years here at Millfield that have never set foot on this pitch. In fact, today was the first time in nearly 10 years of coming here that I've been allowed to set foot on this pitch. Some debate as to whether Harris' kick the flag, I was in line landed inside or not. The referee says it has landed inside and Millfield will have the five metre line out and a chance for the first points of the second half. All about the line out here. Can they get the ball safely down? We saw McKibben has been the target for the bulk of the line out work. Are Clifton wise to that? The kicking standard once again. Unbelievable. McKibben is the target, brings it down safely. Ball to the tail. Pierce. Joe's ferreting. Instead, it's number eight, Max Jenkins. He comes away with it. Milford would have to play it wider earlier than they would have wanted. On the rumble, and they're over. And I think it's the skipper, Sam Nixon. Eric Nixon. Eric Nixon, even. Sam would be upset about that. Apologies, Sam. I'm sure you're watching. Eric Nixon, the skipper. A bit more mobile than his, uh, than his cousin Sam, I believe. Sam Nixon, of course, playing his rugby out in France before. I think he's moved back to the UK this year as his cousin Eric goes crashing over. A real captain's try there. Big bulldozing carry. And he looks ready for action. Sam Harris stands over the, ki over the kick. And you can tell the wind has picked up even further. Just George Jones trots up to go for the old fashioned finger on ball routine. Something refreshingly amateur about the old finger on ball. Yeah, you love to see it. Well, you can see the effect of the wind there. Harris had that on target the whole way but the wind just forced it wide. It looks like the tactic from this point is gonna to have to be from kicks from right to left, aim it five or six yards left of the post. Millfield lead Clifton College, 20 points to 10. As McKibben recovers the kickoff and makes a charge out the field, McKibben getting more and more involved in this game. A try scorer in the first half, of course, as Harris launches it long, high hanging ball. Worsley's dropped into fullback. In. Takes on Sultan Edwards, who came on at half time. Worsley looking for the offload, but bundled into touch. The one time there, he probably didn't want to carry that. He's uh, had some time to kick it. Um, bit of game management there, let him down, but you can't fold him all, all game. He's been great. Just that one little lapse of concentration there, and that gives Millfield a good, good attacking, attacking chance now. Fantastic work rate from number eight, Max Jenkins as well. First up to chase the, to chase the kick up from Sam Harris, put Worsley under pressure, forced him into running, and then made the tackle to bundle him into touch. And now it's Jenkins at the tail, passing it back to Max Pierce. Good move serve here for Millfield. Pierce, strong on this all day. Controlling things at the base of that ball. McKibben now joins him. Millfield have made 10 yards. Jones now. Let's takes over it, the ball at the back. Kerwin wants it though. Moves it right to Timmins. On the Three carry. Release. Slow ball though. So Harris decides to attack anyway. Releases his back line. Ertuk. Dancing and weaving. He's got to be pulling at the ball, fellas. They're on here if they want to go. Erskine, the big man, carries forward. A surfer, would you believe? Tackle, three, roll. Thank you. Need some big defence here from Clifton. Can't afford any more points. Oh, screw it. All the contact by Millfield. Clifton will have the scrum. And as you say, Harry, Clifton needed to make sure they didn't concede. And they've managed to find something in that passage there. 
that motion. Yeah. It's going to be tough to exit here for Clifton with this win. It's kind of just changed its direction slightly in the last few minutes and coming straight into their faces now. As we wait for this scrum, just Heads in. chance to tell you about that story about the Millfield socks Crow. I mentioned earlier. You'll notice a number of the Millfield players, you can see scrum half Sam Kerwin there is one of them with royal blue socks on and another number of others with dark blue socks on. And that's because when colours are awarded at Millfield in the first team, you get a pair of socks, royal blue socks, absolutely treasured. And Tom, I know you had a set, a proud moment, I'm sure, when you received yours. It was, yeah. I was always a bit upset. Callum got his before mine, before me. But um, yeah, it is, it's a very proud moment. It's, it's a great tradition that they have here. And then your name goes up in the change room above your above your shirt spot, so it stays there, stays there forever. So it's, it's yeah, it's a really nice touch. And it's always, always when you join the first team, it's always nice to have that ambition to get to get the blue socks. And did you get a chance earlier to go and see your name on the board? I did yeah. I had, I had a bit of a, a bit of a moment in there. Bit of a walk down memory lane. Yeah. Worsley clears it long. And Denmark seizes the opportunity to counter. Releases. Oh. Kamanga Durback. And now Harris puts Boots the ball again. And why not? There's huge space here on the right hand side. Ball sits up a little unluckily for him. But the chase is good. Sultan Edwards looking to compete. Oh. Thinks better of it. It's great work from the nine there. Getting his body on the line. No hands, one. Thank you. Clifton College That's out. working ever so hard here to try and get a bit of go forward momentum. Carried back. Worsley decides enough is enough, puts boot to ball, hanging high. Harris does well to feel that it moved about six or seven yards retire. in the air. Go retire. Returns it with interest. Sultan Edwards with the hit. Wind picking up ever more and the aerial contest becoming ever more crucial in this game. Off feet, off feet one. Carter sends it up the short side. No two. Setting up for the box kick perhaps. You can't be bound if you stood there, one. We will have the box. Sultan Edwards in position to receive. Charge, Charge down, down instead down. though, Timmins. Brilliant play by Timmons there to, to, to get the charge down. Putting, putting this Clifton team under a lot of pressure there. You saw the kick from uh, Sam Harris, the, more of an up and under this time. Um, it's nice to see the variety coming out here and really putting Clifton to the sword here. George Timmins enjoys a night out with the boys, so I'm told. And he's certainly earning Let's be square his corn this okay, evening. He's definitely been down to Envy and Street. <laughs> Some said good night out. Crow. A great night out, Envy. Boy. Not that I went when I was at school, but I'll get in trouble. I said that. Tim, Timmins in lower sick, though, so I'm sure they mean a quiet Coca Cola with the boys. <laughs> Turned over, Clifton College, superb work on the deck inside their own 22. No, he hasn't. No, crucial really important. play. Really important to exit well. Isaac oh, got lucky there, just, just missed the player. Campbell Wu catching that one with the inside of his foot, but gets it safely into touch. Field position as time goes on in this game. Millfield with the 2010 lead. Field position is going to become ever more important. Difficult to launch any sort of long-ranging attack in this game. Yeah, no, it is. And uh, you've seen you've seen the way Milford have been playing. They've been playing. Uh, I think the big difference between two teams is that Milford understanding when they're getting knocked back to then kick the ball, but. Clifton, when they do have the ball, sort of playing as they lose another line up. But again, another mistake. First one Let, off let's let's the Clifton down. Second one off blue. And that, I suppose, as you're saying, Clifton looking to, to run it a bit more when perhaps kicking is more of an option. It's because of that scoreboard pressure yeah, being 20 points to 10 up, they feel they need to, to get that try. Yeah, definitely. That, that's that's come from the work of the, the Millfield team to, to put that pressure on them. Uh, Sam Carter gets substitute for number 21 here. Um, he's had a good game. Pete Carter. Oh, There's a lot of sounds in this team. Too many sounds. Crow. Bye. And Harry, of course, on that, on that front. 
if you're out there, what sort of advice are you giving to the, to the Clifton lads in terms of how to how to approach the final 15, 20 minutes of this game? I think just like Tom said, we're trying to force it a bit, and there's still plenty of time left, and it's only 10 points. So you just got to play play territory with this wind, and hopefully we'll get a try, or maybe even just go through the points um, through Sam Wellesley's boot. Five, right, Sam Worthy with a chance here to show what he can do with that Four's boot. We've seen so much impressive, impressive work from him. Jackal Penalty good, on his own 10 roll. meter line, a chance to send the ball into Millfield territory and launch an attacking play for Clifton College. Uh, that came from a great carry from Campbell, though. He's been, been excellent for Clifton this, this game. Like we said, back from injury and he's, he's showing his worth here. Uh, gets him on the front foot, causing Millfield to, to retreat and yeah, give him away a silly five, penalty yeah. there. Done well there to win the line out. Some big ball carries now coming from Josh Shriver. Clifton comes to the blind side. Worsley puts it wide. Oh, great play. Down the left goes Eamon Rogers. Shackled well from McKibben though. We never heard McKibben. The Millfield Brack Row are having a fantastic game. The trio of Jenkins, McKibben, and Timmins. Just wait a minute, guys. Everywhere we'll at the, the moment. For me. Just checking. I just want to make sure, because he got a knee to the head, I just want to make sure. Short break in play here. Gives me a chance to mention our partners, Coach Logic, one of the uh, fantastic partners that we have working with us on analysis. Player-led analysis helps coaches and players see what they're up to. A lot of opportunity for learning, and you can Guys, just wait, get a 100%, 100%, 100 pound discount rather with coach logic if you use the code next gen 15 that's next gen xv as we look here at the opening try of the game it was sam harris guys we just wanted to drifting get right. through not to. after the wonderful tie-in of the defense guys, from go. tommy davis glorious opening just score that wasn't it guys, yeah, great up, score there off. from sam harris it's been a bit of really good running yeah. rugby today with the swim great little break there from clifton it's just yeah. unfortunate yeah. it couldn't stay in play They've just just seen seen that open the uh, the blind side opened up and the new scrum half, which is Will Windows, I think, has just come back behind and put away the winger. Yeah, it was good work from Hamid and uh, and even Rogers down that left hand side. And the forwards have done some good work as well, turning that line out over. And the Campbell, Aaron Tully, the captain rather, Aaron Tully, charging into the heart of the Millfield defence. Worsley now taking it on into the heart as well. Not afraid of doing the dirty work is Worsley. Harris. Almost with the interception, but knocked it on in the process. Yeah, that's quite lucky there for Clifton because in a really good spot there, just outside the 22. Just needed to keep going through the phases and not force it too much, but it was nearly a great read from Sam Harris, as you just said. I'd like to see Sam Wersey move the ball a bit more, see if he can keep himself on his feet a bit more, because he's, he's controlling the game well when he's got the ball in his hands, but occasionally he carries, carries a few times when his team need him on his feet. Uh, but, yeah, like we said, a great, great attacking position here now. Coach! Big blindside available. He's not happy. Should Tom Gardner want to pick up from the base? <laughs> Be nice to see the Clifton winger stand on the, t on the right touchline just to, to play with the defence a bit more. Yeah, they brought almost the whole back line across this left-hand side, haven't they? Do we think that tells us they're coming left or is it a big dummy to get a bit of a wheel on the scrum and release the number eight down that blind side? As it is, Millfield a little bit too eager to get around. Big decision here now whether to go points or corner. Well, Clifton College are going to have to score twice if they're to win this game. And so, perhaps wisely, with a kick in front of the post, Worsley opts to go for the sticks under the instruction of Tully. In this win, though, so it's a tough kick. It's a long way out, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a real tough kick, so it'll be good, good to see how he goes here. Even John Mallet on the touchline here is wrapped up warm. 
Champions League. Has the legs. Has Hell the accuracy as well. Sam Worsley. Wonderful kick from the England outside half. Reduces the score to 20 points to 13. Clifton College within a converted try of levelling this game now. Around about 15 minutes left here at Millfield School in this absolutely epic contest. These two playing right at the very top Backwards. end of the school rugby game at the moment. Probably the two finest Tackle. sides in the country. Good work too, Blue. It's a great kick off there from Sam Harris just Pop to get it really high in Don't that wind. And now Milford have won the ball back. Hey. Such is the competitive, competitiveness of this game. Both sides with those unbeaten records, neither side willing to give an inch. It means so much to these boys and what a huge game this is. And what a huge contest it's been. Millfield scored three tries. Clifton College though, with a couple of penalties to add to their own score. We don't need that. Getting right back into started. this game. I didn't see what happened. Game management now you. is going to be absolutely crucial. Thirty minutes left for both don't, sides. Don't want to put someone in the bin if I don't have to. Okay. Go and have it. It's been interesting on, on our ball. team sheets here. We've got a lot of information about where players are, what players are doing, where they're off to. A lot of boys keen on going to some of those Buck Super League universities. But don't forget, of course. Plenty of others as well. The Bucks Premiership, a hugely high standard for a number of players out there. University of Bristol, of course, our partners playing at that level under the guidance of Joe Goodman, who, of course, used to do an awful lot of work here at Millfield, actually, working with a lot of players on their skills, particularly keen on footwork and handling, was Joe Goodman doing great things up at Bristol University and a huge opportunity for anyone who wants to continue both their academic and their rugby performance to head over to Bristol University. Fantastic work they do over there. And of course, with UCAS time coming up, it's a good time to get it onto that UCAS form. Millfield here on the attack. The Manga Durback carrying it to the great ball. turnover. Clifton College though, with a wonderful turnover. Let him go. Time Back. and time again, they're doing this. Worsley goes fast, plods it through with his left foot, dribbles into touch. Clever play from Sam Worsley. I don't quite understand the thought process behind that though. He's, he's got a bit excited there, I think, with the turnover and just decided to go and then kick it when he could have just got his own line out and kicked it straight away off the penalty. Yeah, potentially looking for the 50 22, tough kick, uh, obviously into the wind, but um, it's nice to, see, nice to see him get the turnover and go quick off the back of it. With a bit of ambition to play here. Nice to see as well, off both feet. I think that was off his left foot there. So. Clifton College poached the line out though. Backwards. Difficult ball, but Worsley dancing, hopping this way and next. Let Takes it, it into contact, secures possession for his team. They'll come blind. Sainsbury. Strong carry from the tight head. Oh. The Millfield over the penalty. Four side entry. Clifton College in their eagerness to retain possession coming at the side. Side entry four. As Millfield looks to ring the changes. Right. Harris with a fantastic nudge from that position. Takes it up no, almost to the 22. I was in line with it, he's being honest. The same as your guy was in the first half. Come on. You see here, clear side entry at the ruck. It's that desperation to move Nixon who once again is doing some incredible work for his side. Really leading with great authority this afternoon. In the Somerset sunshine, but the Somerset bitter cold as well. Safely brought down by Millfield. Timmins looks blind. He's broken away. Not on there, Millfield break away. Uh, Two excellent work. McKibben on the ball once more. 
Thanks, good girl. Okay, you wait. Out now to the forwards. One out rugby from Millfield at the moment. Erskine now, the big man carrying through the heart of the Clifton defence. Now Millfield switch sides. Nixon the skipper. Millfield just playing this oh, way and that. Now Harris looks wide. Well tackled, Clifton College. Who's held? You need to release. Well, it's a great result there from Clifton. I don't quite know what the penalty's for, but released a lot of pressure. Well, I think the player there not releasing the ball once he was tackled, so he got back to his feet, playing the ball on the floor in effect. As Worsley kicks long. Yeah? You're contracting my eye too often. Where you are? Yeah, yeah. Crucial last 10 minutes of the game here. George Davey to throw in to the tail. Scrappy ball. Throw in not straight. Crucial moments these. It's not quite what we needed there. Not with only 10 minutes left on the clock. Even Danny Grucock has put a hat on. Temperatures biting across the country at the moment. Of course, Newcastle Falcons game this weekend cancelled as a result of the red weather warning. Not so for these hardy Somerset souls, though. Millfield with seven square. points to the good. Entering the final Hold 10 back. minutes of the game. Their unbeaten record. Safety Holding firm at first, the moment. Right. Clifton College in danger of losing theirs. It's a safety issue first. Don't try and force each other up. Just stay down, Ryan. Check it. Yes, yes. A few shenanigans at scrum time from the two from Rose. Five, set. This one much more stable. Yeah. Oh, penalty, Clifton College. The referee unhappy one to four. with Millfield at the scrum, giving Worsley a chance to give Clifton an attacking chance, but difficult to get any distance on the kick at the moment. Takes it up to the Millfield 10 metre line, though. Line to the middle. Just, just about, uh, about six minutes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Harry, you've got to feel at some point Clifton are going to have to unleash this back line. No, I, I've been waiting all, all game, really. It's just just with this wind and also just being on the back foot a little bit and also not being able to win the set piece. It's been tough for the back line. McKibbin tries to dance down the touchline, but unfortunately for him, dances down the wrong side of it. Been given a second chance here, so keep the same play on, boys, and hopefully we'll see a strong carry from the forwards and then maybe, maybe a bit more running rugby. Be good to see Sam Homer and Sammy Hamid get a bit more of a run on because those boys in open space are dangerous. Well, Clifton looking to, to use them. Brave line out, out to the tail of it. And Campbell Wu takes it into contact. Great turnover, massive turnover that. But he's holding on on the deck as Tom says. And it's Jenkins, the number eight who worked ever so hard to get out into that centre channel, get his hands on the ball. And Tom, that Millfield back row, all three of them having a huge impact this afternoon. Yeah, I know they have missed touch there. Um, yeah, they've they've been great, all, all three of them. So I think that they've got a lot of turnovers. It's Clifton run, running it from deep now. Tackle! They have to throw everything at it now. How long left? You got Six minutes left, so big penalty now. You've got to show an effort to roll your oh, yeah. starting to mount in the 22. Millfield seem to, seem to be finding it hard to get any continuity in attack. Millfield, sorry, Clifton rather, earning a lot of penalties but unable to, to do too much once they get the penalty, get the field position, they're then losing possession once they've got themselves into the half. Mm, couldn't agree more but 
We've just been given another chance here, and with the banana style kick from Wellesley, made a couple of meters up the touchline. And as we enter into the last five minutes of the game, the crowd really building on the far side of the pitch. 14 teams in action across both schools today. 14 teams for each side, that is. And as those early kickoffs start to finish up, they drift over to this pitch. And the noise starts to get bigger and bigger. The atmosphere grows, and this is going to be a huge last five minutes of the game. Jenkins carrying for Millfield. Him that got that crucial turnover a moment ago, and him that carrying now. Sam Harris drops it onto the foot, as he has so often this game. But that one just overcooked a little. And we'll come back for a Clifton College line-out just inside of the Millfield half. error count high because of the conditions neither side been too able to capitalize on it that much in this second half though clifton go to the tail again secure ball great line out in that win uh. heavy work in the midfield now they switch back towards the blind side worsley Looping pass out to Rogers down this left wing. We've seen his space when he gets a bit. New this year and he's made a huge impact. Cardiff, under 18's player. But Millfield turned it over again and it was Timmins on the deck. And now McKibben is back row colleague on the charge down the blind side. Millfield looking for quick ball. Carried now into the heart of the Clifton defence. Harris. Looks at his options, goes out the back to Tommy Davis, who helped set up that try for Harris early on. Sultan Edwards has come across the right wing, onto the left wing. Look out for him, wonderful footwork, an elusive runner, 100 metre sprinter in the summer. Erskine carries through the heart of the midfield, looks for the offload, holds onto it instead. Good decision from Erskine. Spilled on the deck though as he tried to hold the offload away. The ball was loose from him and just spills. We'll have a Clifton College scrum. But time is beginning to run out for the visitors here at Millfield. Clifton College 2013 behind Erskine. Oh, he was looking for the offload. He thought he'd hold on to it. In the end, didn't quite manage to do either. You would think this would be Clifton's last chance now to get the score and get the draw. Well, we said at the top of the programme that these two specialise in dramatic wins against high quality opposition. Both of them with dramatic wins over Wellington College. Millfield with a dramatic win over Whitgift. And it's an interception from Worsley, but what a tackle from Sam Harris's opposite number. Could be a match running tackle that. That was a huge tackle. That's it, Tommy. The battle of the two number 10s was a big talking point ahead of this game. Yeah. Worsley with the intercept, but Sam Harris with the crunching hit on his opposite man forces the tap, the knock on. Keep it ticking, and could be, as Tom Whiteley rightly says, a match winning tackle. Seconds. Worth noting that if Millfield win this game, Crowd. there could be a potential Five. Daily Mail Trophy Seven. defining clash up at Sedbra on the 8th of oh. December. Sedbra playing Kings Macclefield in their penultimate no. game this weekend. Millfield have Monmouth next, and Don't then on the 8th, on. the two meet. So if Millfield win this one, it could all come down to that huge game on the 8th of December. Millfield with a penalty here and with over a minute, just over a minute to go, it could be crucial. Good Sam composed. Harris will look. Well, I hadn't even considered that, Harry. You could be right, though. Will they go post? Harris points that way. The wind's slightly behind them now as well. And uh, with there being only a minute left on the clock, just take the whole minute and they should have won the game. We've got time for the restart afterwards. Yeah, you've got time for the restart afterwards. 
The only trouble with going post here is if it hits the posts and stays in play or doesn't go out, Clifton get another chance. Well, this, this could be Just a huge story. Kill. Harry Carson, the substitute is on. Loves his golf and this is like a long drive at the first for him. First involvement in the game, Harry Carson with a kick that could win the match for Millfield. 20 points to 13 in the lead. Carson, well, it's got the legs. Has it got the, the accuracy? It does. Harry Carson with the mega penalty kick. Puts Millfield 10 points clear. Clock almost over. We'll be close to the final play when we restart. Harry Carson. What a way to have your first involvement in such a huge game. Clifton on the ball, spilled in contact though, turnover from Millfield. Clear the lines and Millfield will win the game, 23 points to 13. Harry Carson penalty at the end, took it away from Clifton College. But it was all about that first half performance from Millfield. Three tries to Clifton College's one. In such tough conditions here at Millfield School, a wonderful game of rugby. Tom, a fantastic game. Your old boys, Millfield, getting the job done. And who stood out for you today? Yeah, like you said, the game was on in the first half. I thought uh, the back row of uh, Timmins, McEwen, Jenkins, I thought were all outstanding. Um, but am I doing the man of the match now? Yeah, why not? Let's hear yeah, it. Well, I think the man of the match, I think just because of his first half performance and uh, the way he played into that wins, seriously tough wins. Uh, you have to get to Sam Harris. Um, I think he controlled it brilliantly. There's, uh, he had a couple of mistakes of kicking, but it's understandable. But in that first half, I think that's where, that's where the game was won. It was all down to him, if you ask me. Yeah, fantastic performance from Sam Harris. That battle between the two ten, something we spoke about at the beginning. And Harry, I thought, of course, Sam Worsley, uh, standout for, for Clifton College as well, played fantastically in uh, in challenging conditions. I think, yeah, Sam Worsley had a really good game. But I think, I think Clifton in general had a really good game. I think it was a great game of rugby, didn't disappoint. And as Tom said, it was really won in that first half just by Millfield managing to get ahead against the wind, which proved vital in the second half against Clifton. Absolutely, we have been treated to an incredibly high level game of school rugby here at Millfield. Millfield finished it up, 23-13 winners, a fantastic first half performance, an epic contest between the two in what I cannot stress to you were some incredibly challenging con conditions. Both sides did really, really well to play some good rugby in them. And we saw here from Millfield the opening score from that man, the man of the match, Sam Harris, fly half who had a wonderful game and he opened the scoring with that gliding finish in the first half. That was really early on. And then second try from that back row trio who did so well. We saw Timmins with the early carry. Then it comes out to the props, carrying hard in the midfield. We get the call and it's Archie McKibben who I thought had a fantastic game on the open side flank to score Millfield second. Clifton College came rumbling back, pounding away at the Clifton line. And then it was that lad, Campbell Wu, on his return from injury. What a game Campbell Wu had, by the way. A big shout out to him, who scored for Clifton College. And it was 2010 at half time, Millfield led. The third try from the skipper, Sam Nixon. Not Sam Nixon, Rob Nixon. Eric Nixon, there's many a Nixon knocking about. Rob Nixon's playing at Gloucester these days. Sam Nixon playing down in France. Eric Nixon scoring tries here at Millfield. And we see the Millfield players walking through the Clifton Tunnel and towards their own adoring 
support. And we've seen from both sides, it was mentioned in the, in the, the pre-game build-up by both coaches that these boys are real sort of icons within the school. They're really looked up to by the younger year groups. And uh, that performance today from both teams will certainly live long in the memory and will provide plenty of inspiration. And a quick word as well to my two co-commentators. Harry, a tough day for the Clifton boys, but a good performance from them. Yeah, no, it was good to see. Like, they played well, they've done the school proud and just away as well. They've just come out just losing, which is unfortunate, but they've done themselves proud and it was a good game of rugby. And Tom, Millfield, getting the business done. No surprise really, is there? No, it was, um, no like, like Harry said earlier in, early in the commentary of Clifton, weren't even a fixture for Millfield a few years ago, so for them to be uh, competing against a school like Millfield, uh, it's, it's, it's great to see. And see this Clifton team going 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 far this season, so uh, credit to them. Yeah, and it's been fantastic to have both of you alongside us in the in the commentary box. Really, really great insight from the two of you as we hear the famous Tiki Tonga chant on the far touchline. It finishes up here, Millfield 23, Clifton College 23. And what a few weeks we have to come. I apologise. Millfield 23, Clifton College 13. It's very cold up here in the commentary box. You may be able to tell. It's been an epic occasion. Millfield awarding some colours, I think I can see on the far touch line. As we spoke about, those colours mean so much to all these lads. You get your blue socks at the end. And it's fantastic. And of course, big couple of weeks coming up, as I was saying. Millfield are uh, playing against Monmouth, who are having a really good season at the moment. And then they're off to Sedbert for what could well be the Daily Mail Trophy decider. We had Sedbert drawing against Wellington College up at Broad Street on Wednesday night. And now Millfield in a fantastic 23-13 victory here against Clifton College. Look what it means to the players. Look what it means to their fellow schoolboys along the side of the touchline, clapping them back into their changing rooms. A fantastic game of rugby and a fantastic schoolboy scene here. We heard from Gareth Edwards earlier, Sir Gareth Edwards, about what this means to each and every person. He was in the changing rooms earlier talking about how these are the days of your rugby lives, playing against and with your mates. And we see right there that that is exactly what that is. A very, very special afternoon here at Millfield School. And it all finishes up. Millfield 23, Clifton College 13. Millfield remain unbeaten. uncertain times. Truths that we once held to be self-evident are being overturned in an instant. As technology and tumult transform the world around us, forcing us to reevaluate what we thought we knew and hit the books to gain new knowledge and a sense of direction. From the lessons we need to learn, the jobs we need to get ready for. Education has found itself at the centre of the debate. Considered ripe for a rewrite and overdue an overhaul. This is where Millfield comes in. An institution with pride in its past, but its eyes firmly fixed on the future. A place where the solutions to the greatest challenges of our time are waiting to be brought to life. Where the leaders of tomorrow are being shaped by teachers delivering best-in-class education. This is a place that encourages belief in what's possible. With stories of young people writing their own futures. This is a place that champions fearlessness resilience and defying the status quo. That treats education as a force for positive change that the world needs. This is Millfield.
Introducing Next Gen 50, the new home school of Well, where does this come from? Covering everything the school game has to offer in both the North and Southern Hemispheres. Oh, Highlighting tomorrow's stars, Next Gen 15 will be bringing you live games and regular updates of all the news and in-depth views on the global game. What's the kick? All your school rugby, all in one place. This is Next Gen 15.